Hey guys, it's Witch, and today I wanted to talk about the Ariel Nendoroid. Um, I did pre-order this from Ami Ami, I believe. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about her. I haven't been buying all the Disney ones, just the characters I really love, but let's take a close-up look at the box real quick. She's number 836. Here's some cute poses for her. I really like the box design with the little bubbles and sparkles. Flounder is so cute. Pork. There's, whoops. There's the bottom. I don't see a sculptor on the box anywhere, so I'm not sure who sculpted her. But let's get her out and look at her options and her paint job and all that a little bit closer. Here's the backdrop that comes in the box. It's pretty nice. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, this is the new style of Nendoroid. If you're not aware, it comes in smaller packaging and the arms and stuff come in a little bag. And her stand is blue, which I didn't know, but that's pretty exciting. Uh, let me get them unwrapped. I want to give fair warning on the stupid fork. Um, it's very small. I have already almost lost it twice and almost threw it away on accident. So, just fair game. Fair warning on that one. So let's start looking at the actual details. Here's the base. The logo. Here is Ariel's mount, which can bend there and there, which is pretty typical. Um, she's got a small back hole, um, probably because of the hair, I would guess. Um, there are holders for Flounder and Sebastian. Comes with the extra neck piece as always. And then let's look at her arm options real quick. These do not include the default they come with. So this is the one to hold the fork, I believe. Or maybe this one, I don't know. I'm not an expert, I'll have to try them out. These are kind of dainty hands. And I would like to say, I've heard people complaining that their quality control isn't as good as it used to be. And I definitely see that a little bit with this figure. Um, not as much as I did with Ed. But I will point that out as we get to him. So let's look at her extra tail real quick. So this is the bonus tail you get, which is sitting. Oh, the one she comes with is standing. So it moves at the fin. There's some close-ups. Um, it is permanently folded there. Then this just connects to her waist. It doesn't move. Here's her extra face plates. This is number two. Pretty cute. Um, here's my first quality control note. There is some kind of ickiness happening there. None of it's on the front, luckily. This is face number three. No major problems with this one. Here's flounder. Flounder is not posable at all. Um, little eyelashes, tongue, really great paint details. Uh, really neatly painted for one of the accessories, honestly. <laughs> And it's got the hole in the bottom for the stand. Here's Sebastian. A um, little bit of a weird paint job happening on his eyes, but not too bad. Um, again, not poseable, but nicely detailed. And again, has the sand hole in the bottom. Now let's look at the main figure as she comes. So this is the aerial figure as she comes in box. Um, so she comes with her straight tail. 
which has the same posability here and again doesn't move there. She's got a belly button detail and her bikini does wrap all the way around it appears. Maybe, wait, maybe not. Yes it does. It does go all the way around. There's her back hole. It's gonna probably take some work to get the peg in there if my past experience with long haired characters says anything, but we'll see. Um, the arms she comes with are just kind of casual. Um, she only comes with one hairstyle. It's nice though. It's nicely detailed. It's got this little flip here and this little curl here and her side swept bangs. This is her default faceplate. Again, nothing really wrong with that part of the faceplate. Um, so as per usual, her hair comes off. There's some weirdness happening um, inside here though. So this has red paint on it. Um, and inside of here, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to tell. You can't really see it, but in there, there's this large excess blob of paint, which again, you can't see it, so it's not a big deal, but it is kind of annoying considering how much these cost. Um, and the last movability, which I've never seen on Nendroid before, is her head actually moves uh, up and down, but only up and down, not side to side. It does twist though. So that's cool. It's got a extra little joint right there that allows that, which I've never seen before. So I'm gonna get her posed and we'll look at some of the options. So I wanna show you guys this arm real quick. Um, I noticed it had some weird molding in it and I had to take the head off to get it on actually. Um, so there's the weird molding. And the reason that is, is because it lines up with the bikini. Um, so it's supposed to be reached straight out. I don't really like it because you can't really move it anywhere else without seeing the weirdness. So I don't think I'm gonna be using this arm very much, if at all. So here's the first pose I did. Um, I do have the fork in her hand. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting. One of the issues I am having with her is her secondary tail really does not want to stay on. Um, it fell off. I've had the same issue with other Nendoroid bottoms. Um, the first one, the like number one tail is made to fit really tightly and then the number two tail doesn't fit quite as well. Um, had no issues putting Flounder or Sebastian up. Uh, she does only balance sitting like this very specific way or else she flips. So if you're going to have her sitting, I feel like I'd recommend not having her on the stand personally. Um, honestly, when I do photos and stuff of her, I'll probably not have her on the stand anyways. But if you're going to display her on the stand, I recommend the other tail. So let me do another pose and I'll be right back. So this is actually using the arm I complained about. Um, it's actually made to hold flounder, which is why it's so weird, I guess. Um, I'm having a lot of issues with her stand though, not cooperating um, in general, her being too heavy and blah, blah, blah. So I think when I display her, I'm probably gonna display her sitting and not on her stand because it's already a pain, um, which normally I don't do, but I'm getting very frustrated with this stand already. So overall, the stand's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, so I guess over overall total, I do really love this figure. I love the options she's given. I love Ariel, she's very cute. Um, I love that she comes with uh, Lounder and Sebastian and the fork. Um, I wish she had more diverse hands and I wish her tail would bend at the waist as well. Um, but other than that, I really don't have any huge problems with it besides the stand. So I guess I would give it like a three and a half out of five. Um, Cause I really do like aspects of it, like the movable fin at the bottom of the tail, but the stand is such an annoying issue that it loses big points for that. Um, and in general, it feels quite a bit more flimsy than some of my other ones. Um, let me know if you guys got this one, if you got any of the other Disney ones and how you think this holds up in comparison. Personally, I think my Belle one is probably the sturdiest out of the ones I have. Um, in general, I feel like she's, she's the best quality out of the Disney ones I have. 
So yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.